I'm Sherry from Jimmy Bean School, and today I am here to review the Gina by Plymouth Yarn Company. Um, this yarn is very similar. The first thing it reminded me of is um, the Norio yarn, the way that the colors change and that, the fact that it's 100% wool, which is nice. Um, there's a couple different brands out there with this really nice color illustration, um, but they're not all 100% wool. So if you're looking for something that's 100% wool, this is a really great choice. They have some really neat colors. Um, I particularly like the name. There's a girl that works her name, Gina, so it kind of reminds me of her a little bit. They're, it's a worsted weight yarn. Um, it is not machine washable, so keep that in mind. The um, yarn is actually really soft to the touch, and it seems like the ply is really nice as well. The yarn um, has a lot of even textures to it. There's no extra little bobblies or anything weird. Sometimes in the Noro you get a little bit of different textures and things in there, but these seem pretty even, so I might want to um, check those out if that's something that you didn't like about the Noro yarns. These ones, there's a really cool little pastel one, there's some really bright pink and purple ones. Um, really new yarn, I think it's I think it's great, it's soft, 100% wool, you can felt it, make really neat uh, felted projects out of it. Um, 50 gram skeins, worst of weight, um, with 109 yards, so pretty great deal. Um, again, that's the Gina yarn, and I'm Sharon from Jeremy Feeds Wool. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night